Here's the other cooler of cow. Um, this time, we went through a different guy this time for our grass-fed cow, uh, a different butcher. Um, we actually got beef ribs this time, which is amazing. So, uh, very thankful. We go in with Derek's family, like three, four of us go in on a cow. And so, very thankful. This was our Christmas gift. So, um, I'm going to get it in my freezer. Yeah, I need to chip away, but I'm going to have to do that another time. Um, so, I got this. These are the containers that we're going to use. And I got this idea from Alejandra. And I'll put her link down below. Um, she got these recycling bins at the container stores. And they stack on each other and they have a handle so you can pull them up to be able to reach the ones down below. And I thought, brilliant, this would be perfect for our cow. So, I, I bought four of them and they fit really good in. So, I'm going to separate all this. Here comes Daddy with the other cooler. Holy meat. So we're going to hurry up and divvy all this um, in, in with these four. We're going to divvy all this meat up with these four containers and these two trays I have here. This, I use one of those Costco milk boxes to store some of our veggies, but I'm having a feeling that this is going to have to go in that freezer so um yeah so we're gonna hurry up while Callie's cooking dinner get all this in our freezer so and I'll show you what we end up how we divide it all in a bit so what I did is I used one tray I couldn't use my second tray because it didn't fit with these bins so I have one tray of ground beef and then I'm gonna take this out but this is why I bought these, and Alejandro was so right. They may not stack, like, perfect, um, but that's okay. I mean, um, as long as you have something underneath, and maybe I'm doing it wrong, and I could figure it out later. But this is the reason why I bought them, because of the handle. So, I can lift this out and get to my roasts down below. So, down there I have um, rump roasts, sirloin ro roasts. And this one here is all steaks, London broil, and then this there's some ribs, um, sirloins, and the one down below is some more like pot roast, but they're really kind of like the flatter meat, and some cubed steak for like chicken fried steak. But I have two two Costco boxes, the milk cartons full of the ground beef in there and then here um, so they're each one pound squares of ground beef so um, yeah so that is my f deep freezer how I'm able to organize with the cow and I'm so thankful because in the years past like we just kept like the huge bags that they came in just thrown in here and it was a mess and I tried to organize it and then I started going to Costco more and started using the milk cartons so that worked but I'm liking this. I can lift a basket and get to the ones below. So, But yep, that is how I'm using those containers from the container store, the recycling bins, and this is our meat freezer, and this will last us a year. So yeah, and then one day I could put labels on it like she did, but I, I'm okay not doing that. I pretty much now know how it's separated, so I'm very thankful to be able to fit this cow in our deep freezer. So. That is a tip for you if you are like, how can I get my room? or store my meat. This is what we did from the container store and I'll put a link to it down below and Alejandra's um, video down below so you can see that as well. She's way more organized than, than me but uh, thankful for her video. This was a great tip so thank you. I um, hope you guys are doing good. You have a great day. We'll see ya. Bye.